once a project is entered into the system you may find that you need to upload files or set new tasks or new events. If a client has supplied files that we need to look at prior to place for them placing their order or if they're supplying things during the project that we need to use then you can click on new file and use this screen to add documents that are needed for the project. You can just put a bit in here about what the document is and then find the document on your computer using that browse button. You can scroll through to different sections on your computer, say it's saved in the pictures, you'd find it in there. In this case I'm going to cancel but when you're actually adding a file you'd highlight the file, click on open and that will then upload that file. As I said this time I'm going to click cancel. And you would then of course press submit. Here I'm going to press cancel because I'm not really adding one. Get back to the project, we click on the project title here and into the project name. If you need to set a task, anything that needs to be done that is not a, an actual diary event, use new task. And here you can assign who who's in charge of the task. We'll pick participant here so that that is notified to participants. We can pick contacts for the task. I'm going to pick both myself and the person responsible for the task. Press continue. put some details in there. We'll need to set some dates even though this is not going to be done necessarily at a particular time we still need to set the, the dates within which it ought to be done and we want it to be done within a couple of days so start dates today and end dates tomorrow. The time of day can be left as it is there. We also, in the human resources section, need to set who is actually going to do this task. We're going to remove Beth and add Sally. Be careful to click on the correct arrow here. They're fairly clear because of the direction they point in. But it is nonetheless easy to click the wrong one and wonder why it's not happening. Okay, so that's everything set up for that task. You then press the save button, which is in the top right hand corner. Now oh, we've not given it a name, so we've got to go back and give it a name. Again, the name should be specific because the task will appear not just in the project screen, but also in a general task list. So that task has been saved, you can see it down there at the bottom. If there's something that needs to be done that is actually at a fixed time, such as a phone call that's been arranged with the client or a meeting, that will go in as an event. So click new event and you can then add it. Let's say that the meeting we just entered in the 
tasks has actually been arranged now. Again, be specific so that you know what this meeting is about when you see it in a general list of, of events. meeting. This will obviously have a precise time in the diary, so you'll need to select the date. Let's say it's on the 28th. This is a one-off thing. If it was a recurring thing, then you can set how often it's going to occur. In this case, it's one-off meeting, so we click never there. The time of the meeting, again, we'll set, obviously. Two o'clock. And we need to select the people who are going to go to the meeting. And the submit button is down here in the right hand corner. So that's the company added, the project has been added and we've set a task and, a, and an event. We'll do a separate recording of how to actually update and manage the project as it goes along.